What's going on people? Welcome to United View and welcome to the road trip. Welcome back to the road trip, man. Man United taking on Nottingham Forest at Old Trafford, the last game at Old Trafford of 2022, man. And we're here with Marcel, who's fashionably late, disgrace and cheap. <laughs> Tune into UV Raw ASAP, yeah? Josh will get it out soon. And you can hear the reasons as to why he's late and all of the stories that went with it. But this video is not about that. It's about our last home game of 2022. It's about three points. It's about in the, in the, in the aftermath of uh, missing out on Cody Gakpo and all these things that everyone's talking about online and we've all got our opinions. There is a game tonight and a game that we have to win. Uh, Spurs dropped points yesterday. You know, Newcastle won again. And if we want to keep up with the pack, Chelsea play today. If we want to keep up with the pack, Liverpool won. Um, so we've got to do our job, especially in this next batch of three games where there's nine points up for grabs against Wolves, um, Bournemouth and tonight at Forest uh, before it gets really difficult with games against City and Arsenal, etc. We need to get those nine points on the board starting from tonight. Uh, Marcel, what are you saying about tonight's game, man? What, are you confident, easy, easy win or super, you know, tough? Super confident, Fleck, man. Like you said, points to be won the next few games winnable games as well the next few I, I agree with that and then I think today in particular it's just not on Forest side you know I think Bruno the, the team should be able to come together now and, 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 and win I think the last couple of games as well we've played well Burnley as well was a really good performance and hopefully we can add to that yeah we need, we do we do need to um, I'm thinking of the front three me and Owen spoke about this as well like would he play the same front three that started against Burnley which was Ganacho. Uh, Rashford and Martial or will he go back to the more you know tried and tested you know Rashford on the left Martial up front and Anthony on the right I think Ten Hag will go back to that um, Anthony starting on the right hand side with, with Rashford on the left and Martial up front that's one thing and then the situation about Harry Maguire you know we're talking about this as well a lot of people got involved in the comments as well sort of saying that if <laughs> Is, is Harry Maguire going to start if he's over if he's over this illness Owen was basically trying to say Marcel that yeah he might be over the illness but he might not be quite ready to start so could we see Casemiro maybe play centre back again I said no chance in hell I said if he's fit he's either all in or all out and Owen was like nah he might just be on the bench for a little bit you know you never know um, what, what do you think do you think if Maguire's back fit enough to be on the bench then he, ha he starts because we ain't got no other centre backs or could you see what Owen was saying where if Maguire's only just made it fit, can maybe play 60 minutes but can't play a whole game because we've got no defenders, he'll put him on the bench and play Casemiro centre-back again or do you think he'll be back? Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good point. I mean, 60 minutes is some... I don't think he'll be able to play the full 90 if you're, if you're ill and you're coming back into it. But I would say that, you know, Casemiro played brilliantly at centre-back. He played really, really well. I guess it's a Burnley side, but he played well. I think he, he if, if if Maguire's not fully up to it, you might as well just play Casemiro there again. But I think that maybe potentially disrupts the balance of the of, of the of the midfield as well. So um let's see let's see uh, what, what he does. I think Casemiro would be the better option out of the two, maybe to play there again. Um Maguire He's had a, lot of a good run of games at the World Cup, you know, played decently and, and he's still kind of fresh. I feel like, you know, the World Cup has still meant that players have still played a lot of games. I think I would play Casemiro if you're asking me personally. Mm. I, I would still have Casemiro in there at centre-back. Are you playing Are you playing Wan bissaka again at right-back? Or would you go Malassia right-back and Luke left-back? Wan Bissaka played well. He good played wicked. Yeah, yeah played good wicked. assist. And I didn't, I didn't, didn't assume, I didn't think that that would be possible from from Wan Bissaka that kind of performance. I said it was a thing where he's coming to you know, maybe play for a move, um, but really good dynamic runs, good assist. I think you've got to kind of if, if a player's playing well, play him again and continue that. I think Luke Shaw kind of came into that game against Burnley. It was it was Malassia all the way through. So you maybe do Malassia and, and maybe Wan Bissaka again. Mm. I, I'm playing Wan Bissaka again. I think um, again, people can say oh, I was only against Burnley and this, that, and the other. But when we ain't got Diogo Dallo and you just need an actual right back to to, to play in his position, um, and he did well, I, I would I would play him again. I think it's going to be very telling actually if he doesn't play again. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? If if um, oh, it's so annoying. I was waiting to go through and then the lights gone red because these oh, idiots, disgrace, cheats. disgrace and cheats. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, Wan Bissaka. If if he, if Eric Denard don't play Aaron Wan Bissaka this time, um, when he's fit now, clearly he's fit. Played really well against Burnley, um, and you want to put a left back at right back, even though Malassia can play there. 
that just rubber stamps that they just want rid. Um, but I think, I, surely Aaron wan is good enough to play at home against Forest. do you know what I mean? Um, and that's no disrespect to Forrest, it's still going to be a tough game, but I just think for, for balance and stuff like that, just play him. You know what I mean? Just just play him. Bro, if you don't play, he's gone, fam. Oh, 100%. Which we know, that, well, they're trying to entertain offers for him anyway. Like, he is gone, if you get what I mean. He's, he is gone. So, so Regardless of whether he plays today or, yeah. or don't. But that's but it's even worse if Ten Hag goes, don't even, want, don't even trust you to play at home against... Um, Against Forest, and that's the, that's Ten Hag's thing, isn't it? He goes, if you play well, yeah, you, you keep the shirt, yeah, exactly. And after that game, uh, game the other day, you go, oh yeah, I'll put you in against Forest, yeah. And he yeah. played, he played good. He, he yeah. got, he's got to play tonight, man. Yeah. Surely, um, the Jesse Lingard situation. Um, I know you're saying you feel like we're going to win comfortably. Is there a little, uh, little added thing in there? Could he sting us? Yeah, there's there's always a little thing when you know players come back to their to, to another club that they've played for previously. So I, I could see maybe him causing a bit of a threat, but. It's the Old Trafford faithful, you know. Mm. Recently, we've had a really, really good home form, and I'm confident that we'll be able to produce a good performance again. Yeah, I, I think I think so. I think I'm um, listening to some of his um, his interviews. He was obviously really pissed off that Ralph rang, didn't bring him on yeah. in that game. Remember that game against Brentford last yeah. year? Yeah. Um, and <laughs> it was a bit dreaded. I remember thinking it was a bit deep at the time because I think Cavani got to come on, Matic got to come on. Uh, Matic, no, Matic, Matic and Matt started actually in that yeah. game. Um, but there was like a little bit of entitlement from Jesse in it to say like he feels like he was a little bit disrespected and he was saying like he hopes he can get the send off tonight. Um, look, regardless of what happens, the, everyone will give him a good reception. You know, no one's going to boo him when he's on the ball, um, and they'll give him a round of applause when he comes out for his warm up with Forrest. That's for sure. And at the end of the game, hopefully we've won. Um, they'll do that as well. Um, but it can't be about Jesse Lingard. We've got to turn up. We've got to be professional because. Let's get let's get into it, Marcel. In terms of like the league and the league standings, and about you know we need to start getting serious about being in this top four race. Getting a sign in is one thing. Yep. You know we've missed out on Gakpo now. That's one thing. But the players we have turning up and performing is another. How did you feel actually about that Gakpo situation yesterday? What what are you saying? Are you are you bothered that we missed out on him? Do you think there's a bigger plan? Are you have you got? Faith in the players that we've got that we can get top four, even if we don't get anyone in January. What, what are you saying? I'm hurt, man. Massively hurt, Flex, man. At the end of the day, that's Ten Hag's man. You know, I, I, I think he most probably does still do well with that kick and rush style like Liverpool. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that was somebody that Ten Hag wanted. He'd obviously seen a vision. You know, that's the whole point of having a manager, playing the team, play, having a team that plays in the vision of the manager. And if he had seen something in Gakpo to be able to add to our side, then I would have really wanted him. Right now, it's Ten Hag we trust. I remember at the beginning of the season in summer, we was all saying we just want to see good football. We've mm. earned this right to be in the top four right now and in this top four race, I would say. And we're in and around it. I think we're fifth or sixth currently. And, you know, we're fifth, yeah. yeah, we're fifth. And if we win three more games, you know, we're, 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 we have the, 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 a good right, a good stamp on the game and, and on, in the positions. And that's about 15, 16, 17 games in. Um, we have to be consistent now and like you're saying we have to beat who's in front of us today it's not an forest and next week or, or in a few days it'll be Wolves um, without it's a good point that you make if we don't go into the in, in, into the market I'm hearing rumours Fleck about loans but if we don't go into the market this this January window I think we're going to suffer massively I was going to say do you think we'll be we'll be in big trouble if like I am going around this roundabout um, if we don't get anyone in top uh in January. Well, we have to have the composure like you do have going around this roundabout. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's what we have to have, man. We have to be able to be consistent and, and still be able to deliver under pressure. And I think Ten Hag's got the mentality, he's trying to build these players and have the mentality to, to win games. It's just, um, it's going to be very, very difficult. Even you might have to call back an Ethan Laird, maybe if we can't get a match. He ain't coming back. I'm telling you that for free. Stop this Ethan Laird thing. <laughs> I had to say this to Owen the other day. Ugh. What planet? do we live on where we think that a player that you know is young doing his thing at QPR yeah. hasn't been part of anything to do with the season yeah. Ten Hag's just going to bring him back in January and it just keep one bissaka then until the summer Ethan Laird is not coming back to this club yeah. like, this now like in January listen we've just seen Gakpo being snatched from us <laughs> so anything can happen. Anything yeah. can happen oh, in this game. Enough, anything can happen in this game. He's just been snatched from us when when it was odds on. I'm hearing you know rumours about Van Dijk in his ear and all this kind of thing. When I heard reports that it, it was the gap was kind of odds on for United. Oh. So I, and, and even less. What, what, what was the percentage on those odds? I don't know percentages. I think it was about ninety eight percent. I said ninety eight percent. Oh, 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 oh
Oh, it's that show. Yesterday I'll morning. Make you. <laughs> oh, you missed it. Yesterday morning, yeah? Yeah. I just, I don't know. I was just gearing up for my New Year's resolution of I don't give a shit. I'm just saying how I feel. That's beautiful. No more fence. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, well, it's not. He couldn't, he couldn't, <laughs> quite, he couldn't quite get there. He couldn't get to the 100 yeah, percent. It wasn't even 100. 100%. Yeah. I still wanted to do it in small increments. <laughs> yeah, and I thought, nah, man, we're getting Gakpo, man. Look at all this, like, he ain't going Real Madrid. He ain't, definitely ain't going Arsenal. Liverpool weren't even in the conversation, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And then that morning, I said that by what? What time was the Arsenal game? That was eight o'clock kickoff. Probably so it was last. By eight forty-five. <laughs> by eight forty-five, he was a Liverpool player. Uh, nah, I feel your pain. I honestly feel your pain. So I'm, um, I'm, um, um, we're here with you, and yeah. it's going to be United. We're not It's going to be a United Old Trafford. Yeah. Okay. Uh, win, and we start from there. Yeah, we do. We do. Smash a like on the video, guys. Subscribe Wait, to the channel if you're new. Predictions. Predictions. After what happened, I'm not part of that. So uh, I predict a positive result. Whatever Bruno that Fernandez, brace, <laughs> brilliant Bruno brace. Two goals Ooh, at Old Trafford. Not the title. Ooh. Brilliant Bruno, he just has to get a brace now. Or yeah. we can just go brilliant Bruno. That's going to be Marcel's title for his foundry. Watch Bruno <laughs> drop a stinker now. Watch <laughs> anyway, we'll see you after the game. Keep Owen and KG um, company on the match for you. They're going to be doing that virtually. Um, so get involved with them. And then obviously we'll have the reaction from the ground with all the guys um, down on the ground outside Old, Old Trafford as well. We'll, we'll, be, we'll, we'll hopefully have the win and the content to back it up that's positive and happy in the light of missing out on Cody Gappo. See you in a bit, guys. Peace.